Right, back on the diesel, we have a trail with some more um, So just gonna pop the carrier back on it, pop the tyres back on it. We've also got some tyres there, I've got to take the water out of because I think someone wants to buy them. Also need to check on the gearbox oil in the diesel. Engine oil is still full and I'm gonna give it a service after this trail. I've just been putting my spares box back together. So Rob bits out of it for the camper van. I think there's inner tubes in that one. So probably leave the kids seat in it for now and I'll just um, get all my tire levers back in and that box back in. Sorry, there's just two pins there. They just slide through there and there. And there's just got a linch pin that goes on the end of it. Right, so that's all slipped on and in. And there's just two M8 bars on each side then to split it on and off. I quite like this one because it's like locks all the way across. Well, obviously I don't like the angle the wheel sits at, but it's a wheel carrier that's done and it works. So I crack on with it. So they're an experiment running two of the tyres tubeless. Um, it was really successful on the land's end, but I've got the two tube bonds here. I've lost my other marathon wheel, unfortunately, but hopefully it will turn up. But I'm going to do the tubeless ones as spares. going to put air in them because it's a field trial. So I think driving all day on it will be better trying tubes. So no problem, it doesn't seem to fit on with two marathon wheels. That bar in the middle is not quite long enough. I might just be able to pop the bar on because it's got like this bar on it to lock it in. Oh yeah, it needs to be down a lot more than that. I think the marathon wheels just must be a little bit wide. Let's see what I can sort out. Japan's just because time's getting on. It's already quarter past four in the afternoon. Um, you're going to go with the tubeless tyres for the field trials tomorrow, the Modern Motor Club Championship trial. Right, we've got it jacked up in the air to take off the wheel. Hello, dog. Um, but while it's up in the air, I'm just going to check the gearbox oil as well. This is just weeping a bit out of the boots. The synthetic oil I've used, and you can see how well the synthetic oil's travelled. <laughs> so I think because it's lifted, it's just split the new boots because they were um, furby boots I put on there. It just um, rubs a bit, but maybe if I ever get the body off or the engine and gearbox out, I could possibly do something with the tube there, make it flat or put a cuss out in it or something. I don't really know. Almost feeling professional here. Drain bungs. Um, got a suction syringe to pump oil into it. I've got my little brush there just to clean around it quickly. And obviously there, we've got the oil that I've been running. Yeah, it's nice and loose now. Hopefully, oil won't just pour out. <laughs> just gonna dip it and see how low it is if it's low at all. It was a little lower than I wanted, really. It's probably about half a litre, a bit low. Um, I'm wondering, wondering if I got the car tilted more on an angle. But anyway, it's topped up now, so it'll all be good for this side. So I can't go into the car at the moment because I'm in the jack, but. Yeah, it's quite a good rip in that boot there. So it's obviously where the oil was leaking from. I'm not too sure what I can do about that. My wheel's on now. It looks crazy jacked up when it's been up on the jacks. Just needs to be driven forwards and backwards to settle a bit. But so wheel's on, wheel carrier on. See, I checked the engine oil before I started it. Bang on maximum. So fingers crossed, it's going to be a good day tomorrow.